my mother wasn't here and she was in jail and I wasn't able to like afford anything it felt like. I was struggling really bad. I couldn't turn to anybody for any help. I didn't have a job, so I couldn't get a check from that. Um, a lot of people question me and think like I fake for like the look of things or like they think that it's okay to speak their mind with me and it, I don't think it's really appropriate. Yeah, everybody. Because something is over. Some things do go overboard. Big time. Some things do cross the line. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm right here with Anna Lisa. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good, good. And how old are you? I am 23 years old. You from Tucson? Yes, I'm from Tucson, Arizona, born and raised. Right on. And so, what is your like overall situation right now? Your life situation. Okay, I would say, like, my overall situation is I'm, like, struggling a little bit, but, like, I live with my auntie at the Spanish Trail on South 6th Avenue. I'm, like, addicted to drugs. Sure. That's a hotel, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Didn't didn't that, like, get caught on fire or something like that? Or no, was that my thing? Something? Well, somebody, I don't know when it was, but, like, um, I wasn't here. I was visiting my grandma on 10th Avenue Yeah. My, my at my auntie Lucy's house. Sure. But... Somebody did set it on fire due to smoking right there. They were smoking, like, blues and stuff. Yeah, got you, got you. And as far as, like, your habit, like, what, what is They your... set it out, though. They they called that. They, they called the firefighters. They put it out? Good. Good, good, good. Um, as far as, like, your habit, like, what, what is your, your main thing? My main thing is I smoke meth. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Since I was, like, 16 years old when I got kicked out. Of one in, of my other Theaz's house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so before that, how, how did... I didn't know what to do, so I just felt like I could turn to drugs. Yeah, I understand. I did the same thing. My parents were going through a divorce. I got real sad, and I was like, screw it, boom. Started smoking my stuff. Um, so before, before the habit started, how was life like then? It was all right because I was going to school. I was working on getting my GED, but I was kind of getting in trouble here and there. Cause I was like in and out of juvie. Okay. So other than that, I was doing pretty well with getting jobs and everything. I was getting permission to live sign so that I could work legally. That I so that that way I can pay like for my GED if it needs to be bought or anything like that. Due to the fact that I didn't like finish school, I dropped out because I was going through things. Like I was going through, I was having a lot of deaths in my family. We were like moving around a lot. It was like a lot of separation between my families and shit. And how are you? How are you doing today? Excuse me. How 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 do you feel today? How are you doing, like overall? I feel a little bit happier now that I know that I have resources I can look out out to for assistance, for help with my addiction. Like a lot of rehabs donate to over here, like with clothes, like for job interviews, or they um give us vouchers for like housing assistance. They help us with jobs, job interviews. They, they they do really well with us, so I feel, like, pretty happy. Because I used to be depressed, which is why I used to run to the drugs. Gotcha. Gotcha. Feel, um, feel safe out here? I feel pretty safe yeah. because it's, like, just I know everybody out here. And that's the reason why I feel pretty safe because I feel like there's not a stranger that can hurt me out yeah. there. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I used to be out here, too, and... For the most part, everybody helps each other, like a family, you know? Right. Build bonds and stuff. Um, and that's what it feels like out here. That's why I'm so comfortable with living out here, like, being myself. Yeah. Yeah. What is the... the honestly, in all honesty. That's... I, I don't feel honesty. like I'm struggling too much to where I can't get help. Sure. I and I would never feel like I can't stop with my addiction, knowing that I have, like, a certain amount of time and, and affordable price to where i can afford living yeah. the cost of living here are you in contact with uh, like family anything like that Are no they... recently i had to cut my family off because they weren't like they weren't like okay with um communicating with me knowing that i have an addiction yeah yeah or staying in touch with me i get it i get it if they until i'm been... fully sober and i'm fully clean sure i understand i've totally been there um but I'm working on getting back in school right now, and um, and I'm working on my thieving habits, and so I'm trying to stop stealing for now, 
and I'm trying to work on getting a job instead. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Like, how do you how do you support your habit? But a lot of people say boosting or just whatever it takes. I would have like an old bike and I'll fix it up and I'll I'll sell it to like the pawn shop, or so I can get money so I can pay for what I have, or like um, I'll sell it to like somebody close to me somebody who's who's interested i'll just like trade it for the drugs or something like that yeah i get it i've been there been there what is the the hardest part about this lifestyle for you i collect cans too mostly the hardest part about living this lifestyle is saving saving money really yeah saving money is the hardest thing ever it feels like but it wouldn't ever be too hard to save a dollar at least <laughs> Because all the money we save goes straight to the habit, you know, right. for me at least. For me at least. I was fighting every day for like 10 bucks, anything, 5 bucks, whatever, whatever I could get. Um, so when you wake up in the morning, like what's a full day for you? A full day, I will wake up in the morning and I would go talk to my aunt and ask her if I have like permission to go as far as I'm going or like I ask her or as I plan on going, I ask her if I'm allowed to go these places, if I'm allowed to do these activities and either she says yes or no, depends on if I'm going to leave the house or not. Okay. You, you're pretty, you got a good relationship with her? Yeah, I got a pretty good relationship with her. Okay, good, good. And But if I have to go work and I, if I have to go um, get money or if I have to like do an activity for the day or something like that, then um, I will get kicked out of my house. Because gotcha. I can't be lazy. There's no room for laziness. Yeah, even out here, there's no room for laziness. Honestly. Or embarrassment. Yeah. I'm fully comfortable with getting embarrassed because of the fact that I know that I'm not interested in any of the people that I live with, like, in love, you know? They're like my friends. So I'm comfortable enough to be living around my neighbors and, watch, and, and letting them see my everyday situation. Since you've been out here, what's been the wildest, craziest day of your life? Struggling. The wildest, craziest day of my life was Mother's Day. My mother wasn't here and she was in jail. And I wasn't able to, like, afford anything it felt like. I was struggling really bad. I couldn't turn to anybody for any help. I didn't have a job, so I couldn't get a check from that. Um, a lot of people question me and think, like, I fake for, like, the look of things. Or, like, they think that it's okay to speak their mind with me, and it, I don't think it's really appropriate. Yeah, yeah everybody. Because something is over, some things do go overboard. Big time. Some things do cross the line. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's their opinion. Everybody has an opinion. I get so many com weird, crazy comments. What about when you get emotional? Off. Certain things get me emotional in regards to the comments. I don't get emotional. Um, but when I get emotional, I just had a dog that died. I had to put him down. He was sick. That got me emotional. That's the only time I cry. Um, but overall, in regards to being emotional and stuff, talk to people, get it out, do some push-ups if you have to, as crazy as it sounds. Just whatever makes you happy. Exercise helps. I met yeah. a girl the other day. We were talking about the same thing, emotions. And all of our emotions do run wild and whatnot. But all the time, and there's no telling you how you're going to react to a certain situation or every situation. But there's also, like, running. Like, people, there's, like, the, you can run out of your house and you can run to the park and then run back to your house, into your house. <laughs> <laughs> and say, like, make an expression that your emotions are running that far. Yeah. And that they go no further or they go further than that or they go beyond beyond far or that they go, that they're, they're less of an amount of far. Yeah. And as far as, like, the, the public, how does everybody treat you out here? Everybody's pretty nice. Everybody's pretty kind to me. I'm not going to lie, but... They don't hold back the truth. Like, if there's something that has to be said harshly, then they say it harshly if it needs to be that way. It's just, like, honesty is everything. Yeah, gotcha. 
And last question, I don't want to keep you too long. If if any family or friends see this video, do you want to say anything to them? I would like to say I love them and I hope they prosper very well and that they're able to afford everything they want in their life and that they're happy enough to continue forward, moving gotcha. forward. Gotcha. Last, last question. If there was a, a little girl out there thinking about trying this lifestyle, do you have any advice for her? What would you tell her? Just have confidence. Ask your mother about confidence. Gotcha. All right. Thank you for your story. Appreciate Thank you. It.